Well, first of all, it's an honor to see all you beautiful people in here. Um, you know, if nobody told you guys, I'm done playing football and I'm graduating to the big boys league. Go hang out with the big boys. Uh, super grateful for everything that this city has brought to me and my family. And, you know, I put out a press release and, you know, I'm just here to answer questions because I don't want to get too emotional here. <laughs> So any questions, I'm here for you. So a lot of people already, even when the press release came out today, talked about you and Hamilton and how it worked. Why do you think you and Hamilton click so well? Uh, the reason that me and Hamilton click so well is because I come from a, a, a similar part of like Hamilton. Um, Upper Darby, Pennsylvania is very similar to Hamilton. The people are very similar. Um, I you guys ever go on vacation go to upper darby and you know you'll feel right at home like you've been in hamilton for sure so like it, i just could relate for sure when you're going to become part of the the ambassador community ambassador have you not already been doing that <laughs> it's an easy transition right so yeah i mean i've been studying for the job for a long time it's been my side hustle while i've been playing football <laughs> One thing, uh, I don't want this to be negative, but the one thing that was missing was not winning a great cup. How, how much how much more difficult was it to walk away with that not having been done? It was tough, you know, not winning a great cup. We played a game to win a great cup, but I had a great career. And um, Charles Barkley, going out like Charles Barkley, you know, he's still doing well, so it's all right. Uh, what are some of the biggest takeaways uh, that you took from playing with the Thai Cats for 10 years? Just um, enjoying the different moments with the people, you know? Like, football is such a aggressive game, but, like, you get in the locker room and you see how soft everybody really is, you know what I mean? And it's just, like, the bonds you create with the guys, the relationships you create with the coaches, and just, like, all the different players even around the league like you know you're like oh I hate this player and then you meet them like oh what's up you're not that bad you know what I mean so just the people for sure how hard was the decision to retire from the game um the decision was it was real hard you know like you think about it you're like I can keep going I got some more in me but you know it's like like I always say I live in a world where I just do what makes sense and you know the position and offer that I got from the Hamilton Tire Cats off the field was good for myself and my family. Yeah and it may be a little early to tell but do you see returning to the game in your future at all? Return like Jordan? Like come back in the four or five? <laughs> nah, I don't think football like that. Nah I'm, I'm good man. They, yeah thanks. Uh, Simone when, when you look back at yourself when you were a rookie, did you ever think that you could have a career like you have? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, I think that I was surrounded by, by always surrounded by great people. I think that's one thing that the Hamilton Tire Cats always done for me and myself and my career is surrounding me by such great human beings, great players, and just like great staff and everybody working on the common goal, and that's to win. And you know, I could always tell just by being in this building for sure. Do you mind explaining what your new role is, is going to be with the team? So, like my man said just now, it's the same thing I've been doing, just in the community, making sure everything's flowing. Hi, these uh, questions are on behalf of uh, Siege Mills, Rick Zamprin, who's, um, you did touch on it. Uh, what does your family think of your retirement? Oh, my. My dad, he's one of those guys where it was like, Marco, make sure you're preparing for after football. Make sure you're preparing for after football. And I'm just like, Dad, I'm going to play football so good. Like, it's not even going to matter. You know what I mean? And, you know, he's happy that, you know, he believed what I said. And it kind of, like, came true. And my mom, she's like, I can finally watch Ticat games, you know, because my mom, she uh, pre-records all the Ticat games and watches it to see if we won or lost. So it doesn't mess with her heart. <laughs> what are you uh, going to miss the most about game day? Oh, man, I think I'm going to have to take, like, a kickboxing class for sure, you know what I mean? Tackling people, of course. <laughs> and um, I know some fans are calling on the team to retire 21. Uh, what do you think about that? Oh, I leave it up to, you know what I mean? I'm no comment for sure, but they know what's up. <laughs>
Can you uh, just walk us through a little bit? I mean, you're a free agent, and over the last number of weeks or mm-hmm. whatever, how, how did this come to be? What What was the process and as, as far as deciding to play or not play or to get to here? Oh, man, it was a long process. I went through every single emotion you could think of. I went through the emotion of, like, all right, I'm going to get a new agent. Let's figure this out. We're going to keep it moving. And then I was like, man, went to some hockey games. Shout out to Scott. And <laughs> and just, like, just talked it through, you know. Like, in the game of football, it's like it's a young man's sport for sure. You know, I'm extremely best to be able to play football for as long as I did for Hamilton for 10 years and not really get any major injuries and stuff. And, you know, God know when to hold them and fold them. So... It was time. Was this something that the organization came to you with, or was this something that you said, hey, I could do this if you want me on board, if you if I was going to retire? How did that happen? The thing about Hamilton is they've been real loyal to me as a player. You know, like there was times like they were like, if you want to stop playing football right now, we'll, we'll take care of it. We have something for you. And it's not something that's just been given, you know. Like that's something that I really respected when I was talking to Scott uh, Mitchell, and he was talking to me. He was like, this isn't something that is like a handout. You know, you've earned everything that you're about to receive. So, like, that just made me feel good as a human being, you know, and ready for the next challenge. Any chance you gave any thought to going to a different team? I I love Hamilton. I ain't going nowhere, man. Come on. You're not going to pull a Brandon Banks? We weren't going to ever see you in double blue? Oh, nah. I can't go to double blue, man. I got too much smoke over there for sure. (laughs) 